Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more function in OpenCV that is a bitwise not. So we can apply the bitwise operators on the images, right, to manipulate the images. So in that first, we'll see the bitwise not operation. So how exactly it will works. So bitwise underscore not is a function to apply the bitwise not. And this function, this function will flips the pixels of an image. So that implies the all pixel values, all pixel values that are greater than zero, greater than zero will be set to zero and all pixel values all pixel values that are equal to 0 which are equal to 0 will be set to 255 that means it will create inversion of image inversion of image so once you see the example, you will be getting the clarity. So let us take, first import the open CV, that is CV2. And uh, we know that in order to read the image, we are having a function called im read. So I will take one image is equal to im, sorry, CV2 dot im read and copy the path. So in our system, we are having So there are different images, right? So let us take this one black. Okay. I will remove this one. So black.jpg. Let us copy the path or simply go to the properties for this one so that we will be getting the path here. So just copy the path and give black.jpg. Give the quotations and once again, so if it is a path, you have to use a double slashes in the path. See, I'm using the double slashes. Instead of using the single slash, I'm using the double slashes. So the image will be available in IMG. Now the resultant image is equal to CV2 dot bitwise, bitwise underscore not and give the image as a argument. Now write down the image. So I am CV2 dot I am right and give the location where the image should be saved. So I am giving the same location and instead of black, I am giving inversion black and give the image which image we have to display. So that is a result underscore image because the result underscore image is having the image which is inverted by using the bitwise not. So in the folder, you can see black.jpg is there, right? So there is no black inversion black.jpg. So this is nothing but a black circle on a white background, black circle on a white background. So now you can execute. So it gives a Boolean result. If it gives a true, that implies the inversion of this particular image has been created with a name inverted black, INV black. So just refresh this one. So you'll get see inverted black so you can observe here the black a black circle with a background white and here the white circle with a background black so the inversion will be done so inversion means the pixel with the greater than zero values will be set to zero and the pixel which are equal to zero will be set to 255 right so once again one more uh, example let us take this one so one is a black circle and one is a white circle with a white background. So bw.jpg. So we'll find the inverse of this one. So bw.jpg. So I'll take a resultant image one and here inverted bw. Let us take inverted bw resultant image one. Now you can see execute this one and refresh the page. 
So you'll get getting inverted B, B, W. That means you can see black circle and white circle here, white circle and a black circle with a black background. Here it's a white, white background, right? So just one more example, we'll apply the same thing for this particular image, okay, doc.jpg. So let us take doc.jpg and uh, I'll take a result and I'll go with the inverted doc.jpg and I will take some result, right? Now the image, the dog image will be inverted. This image will be get inverted, right? See, I'll execute. So true, that means the image got inverted. Refresh, see, you got the inverted image. So this one is a normal image and this is an inverted image right so the pixels the pixels will be flipped so that is a use of a image i mean bitwise not function in opencg so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much